Hi, it's Chris Simpson from Bodies by Design Personal Training. We're proud to present our next client star profile, Robert. Robert's story is about a guy that had a hard time looking in the mirror, seemed to be in a state of denial. In fact, with his life, he was degressing and not progressing. So, here's Robert and Christian and Kirk, his trainers, to tell the next client star profile story. Two years ago, I was really in a bad place. I was, besides being 50 pounds overweight, which appeared maybe to be my only problem, but no, I was feeling down. I, I, was, I, I wasn't very optimistic. I lost my sense of humor. I was avoiding doing fun things. I was avoiding social occasions. I was even avoiding mirrors, way scales, anything which would tell me the truth about the, what I was denying, and that was that I was feeling old before my time, I was feeling listless, and I was, felt like I was defeated somehow, and I wasn't getting much enjoyment out of my life. My wake-up call was one day when I was looking at a picture of my wife with another man. And I looked closely, and okay, I had to admit, that other man was me. That's the guy who'd been avoiding cameras. That's the guy who'd been avoiding mirrors. That's the guy who'd been avoiding everything. I, I would look tired, I had bags under my eyes. I had this really weak, awful, defeated smile on my face and beside my wife who looked fit and beautiful. And I thought, no, this is, this is wrong. This is wrong. That other guy is in no more pictures with my wife. Before Bodies by Design, uh, Rob was a little bit heavier, uh, 50 pounds heavier. And um, he would stay at home a lot more. Uh, he would be not always in a good mood. My wife saw the hurt on my face when I looked at myself in that picture. And she said really the same thing she'd been saying for quite a good long time. She'd been coming to Bodies by Design and she'd often been hinting that, Rob, you really ought to take better care of yourself. Why don't you go to Bodies by Design? Why don't you come along? I think you'll really like it. So one more time she said, Rob, come to the gym with me, I think you'll really like it. And this time, I listened. When I first met Robert, uh, I believe he was uh, quite introverted, and I don't know if that was because he was uh, um, uncomfortable within himself or as, as a person, but I truly believe after uh, working with Christian and myself over the months that, uh, that he has and uh, gaining the results that he has, he has become a totally different person. My trainers, Kirk and Christian and several others, took great care of me, they had a great program, so much variety all the time and they're so knowledgeable, so encouraging and they just wouldn't let me fail. They just pushed me all the time to do my best, encouraging and it was just always been a pleasure and really, yes, hard but really a pleasure and something that really fulfilled me inside and gave me back all kinds of ambition and, and confidence that, that I had just really just been wasting uh, as I'd been denying that I needed to take care of myself. He has a sense of humor that I never really saw to begin with. Like he makes us laugh. I know he makes yeah. <laughs> half, the, half the sessions uh, sarcasm and laughing and so on and so forth, which uh, really makes an hour of punishment go by quite uh, quite quickly for uh, for both of us. I'm sure they're so knowledgeable about diet. They were able to recommend various foods to me, uh, alternatives to things that I'd been eating. Uh, they 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 told me about the importance of portion size and when to eat and how to eat. He was a guy that they, uh, you know, put his heart and soul into every single um, exercise that we actually dished him, and he was actually able to plow through that because of his energy levels. And you know, and sort of a very very strict uh, being able to tell us what he had eaten the day of or the day prior. He was always uh, bang on with uh, being able to track his diet. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like we have that program in place, that nutritional program in place, um, where we're actually able to pinpoint exactly where his energy levels might be lacking, um, or where he's actually done very well. Um, and that's a uh, that's um, pretty much a testament to uh, the type of technology that we're using today in his training. You see, one of my other problems was that I had a chronically sore hip and sore feet. So they did a physio assessment on me, they saw what my problem was, and they went to work on it. Um, besides all the great physio work that, that they did working on my hip, 
They put me on a training program where they made me stronger. They helped me to lose weight, yes, and that was, that was an immediate payoff, but they helped me to get stronger in my core and my legs. It's come to the point now where we have to give them sports-specific exercises. Exercises that involve a lot of coordination, a lot of cardio uh, in the anaerobic capacity, a lot of strength. Um, I've got to give him a lot of boxing drills just to, you know, to work him. And at age 50, that ain't easy, but he's making it look easy. Okay, he is a dragon boat racer in the summertime. This was Robert's first year of dragon boating. I believe that he, uh, he surprised himself in regards to the energy and the endurance that he could actually put forth to, towards a team of being on uh, dragon boat racing. Well, here's an interesting story. Um, we were sitting around the um, dinner table and my parents were over and Rob was showing them a picture of himself and his sister and my mother looked at it and she said, oh, this picture, oh, you've t you took it before you were married, right? But it wasn't, it was a picture that he had taken two weeks prior to, to that actual gathering. So he looks very good for his, uh, for his age. age. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because of everything that he's been doing, all the work that he's been doing at Bodies by Design. So we're really happy. I believe more than ever now that we need to have healthy bodies in order to have a chance really to have a healthy mind and a healthy outlook on life. Uh, we just, we're, we're, we're built to exercise, we're built to use our bodies, and we're not made to get weak and worn out before our time. At our age, if you're, in my, if you're a middle-aged man like me, you shouldn't be worrying about getting cancer or getting a heart attack. You should be worried or thinking, looking forward to embracing life, to taking on challenges, to seeing what else you can do besides everything else you've done in your life. Most of us, we've done okay at work. We've, we've been successful at work. But what about being successful in our own lives and finding out a sport that we thought we'd never do? I'm boxing, I never thought I'd do that. I always love to watch it on TV. Well, why let other guys box? I, I've always uh, admired skiers and people, uh, uh, and people who've been outdoors. And now I've been doing that myself. And th this is what life is too. It's about having the confidence to, to look beyond what you think you've already accomplished and then just sort of coast to some sort of end and retire. No, we should be embracing our life and seeing that uh, every single year that we have. We don't know how many we really have, but let's give us our best chance and let's, let's live fit and strong and ambitious and, 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 uh, and looking forward to every day and taking on new things. Hey, it's Chris here again. I hope you enjoyed Robert Star Profile's story. I think there was two messages that were clear. Get out of denial, number one. Get on the scale, get your doctors, get into tight fitting clothes, get out of denial. And second, listen to your loved ones. Remember it was Sabrina that got Robert started here at Bodies by Design. Thankfully he listened. So Robert, congratulations on your 55 pounds lost and gaining back your mojo. Christian and Kurt, you did an awesome job. So until the next Star Profile, inspire to aspire, and remember, the next Star Profile could be about you.